Finally, I want to, I'd like to exaggerate two points. First, capital punishment is not 100% effective way in terms of deterrence. And second, capital punishment is different kind of model. As a result, we should choose alternative way as Blake said, sentencing life without parole. This is more ethically correct way than curing. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Serious. Um, well, I think this is an, an uphill struggle problem for us. But imagine this. If, if it's true that taking the life of the criminal would not, will, not, will not compensate the action that she or he did, what's the point to support them with accommodation, food and clothes in prison? Uh, for me, it doesn't make sense if you use cap... Um, I mean, when, when Denise talk about if that even though you use capital punishment, the crimes increase, for me, it doesn't make sense because this is an effective way to stop them. Otherwise, they will be if you only put them in prison, they will continue doing the same thing again and again. So what's the point? Um, in prison, as we know, for example, in Mexico, um, there are like luxury hotels. And they have cell phones and they become worse. As an example, I can mention we can separate minor offenses and serious offenses. If you put a minor, of, a minor offender in, in a prison with serious offenders, how will we come to a serious offender? Because that's the way it works. Um, as a conclusion, I will not tell you, I will only tell you this. What happened if your mother or your dad was murdered? You will support the killer paying for all their needs? Thanks. <laughs>